Hi, I'm Tyler Vanderplug from JDSU. And today we're here at Interop and we're building this uh, very high bandwidth network. And one of the biggest uh, things that we're paying attention to today is making sure that all of our fiber connections are in pristine condition and clean enough to transfer the data from uh, each uh, server to server or to each cabinet. And so I wanted to walk through one of the products that we're using in doing this uh, and, and how it makes it a lot easier. Uh, around my neck here I have what we call our Essential Fiber Toolkit from JDSU. It features our popular HP3 series integrated system which combines uh, three tools in one actually. It includes a microscope for inspecting the patch cords, which I'll do in a moment. Uh, also a second microscope for inspecting the connector behind the bulkhead. And it also includes an integrated power meter. And there's other tools included with it, such as a visual fault locator, cleaning tools, and things of, of that nature. Uh, so I'd like to walk through just the process of how this is used uh, right here on an actual uh, system that's being used on the interop floor. Uh, we'll start off by uh, checking our test leads on one of our patch cords. So I'll turn on my device and I have my integrated patch cord microscope here. So I'll check that, I'll check the first connector and uh, it's pretty dirty. So right next to my microscope I have an integrated cleaner. Give that a click and uh, reinspect that. Now I've validated that that end is clean. So I can actually move it over here to my power meter port. Whether I'm using my power meter or not, I can put it there because it's, it's a nice safe place to park that connector when you're not using it. Uh, check my other end. Uh, this one as well is pretty dirty. So I'll give that a clean. Now that's a lot better. So now both of these ends are uh, ready to go. But before I connect those, I want to make sure that the connector behind the bulkhead port is also clean. I'm, not, I'm now going to transition over to my probe microscope, which allows me to inspect behind the bulkhead port. I press a button on my display here. That activates the probe. I'll go ahead and inspect that in here. Get that into focus. And that one is pretty dirty. I'm going to check both at the same time. And uh, both of them are pretty dirty. So my cleaning tool, the same device that I used uh, to clean the patch cord ends, I can also use to clean behind the bulkhead. I just remove the cap. Give that a few clicks in there. And now I'm going to reinspect. Now I've confirmed that both my patch cord side and the connectors behind the bulkhead are clean. So I can move ahead and actually connect those. Now I need to plug in the other side. Now on this particular application, that side used an SC connector. On the other side is using an LC connector. So in order to, ch to change to, to inspect this one and clean it, I just need to change the adapters. Uh, this one here was meant for a universal 2.5 interface. I'm going to put on a different adapter for a 1.25 interface, which is what you'll usually see on an LC ferrule. Now I need to do the same with my bulkhead. I had an SC tip on there for inspecting the, uh, the SC port. I'm going to change that out to an LC tip instead. Put that on there and thread that. Now I'm all ready to go to inspect the LC patch cords and the ports behind there. So I go ahead and get this into focus. Actually both of these are in great condition, which is another good reason why you always want to inspect before you connect, because if you don't need to clean, don't, you don't need to waste the time doing that if you've already validated that these, these ends are clean. So now these two ends are clean. I'm going to toggle over to activate my probe microscope. And hey, guess what? All of these ends are actually already clean. So we've validated now that these ends are clean and we didn't even have to check them. Let's hear it for interop. We got some clean connectors here. So now I've validated that those ends are clean. So I can plug that in. And now I've connected both ends uh, of my SC and my LC over here and made sure that every end face was perfectly clean. And remember, inspect before you connect.